Well, uh, it's time for a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. It has been since February when we got the last actual Direct, and now we just have a Partner Showcase, 25 minutes of third-party reveals. So I'm guessing that we're going to get a 20-minute long demonstration of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, um, two minutes of Splatoon 3 revealing the new idol characters, and then three minutes of Mother 3 remake. Okay, let's go. Capcom presents. And the land falls into chaos. Looks like Monster Large Hunter. Demon of the Abyss shall rise from the earth. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to. Is this survive. more Sunbreak stuff? Both beast and man have more in common than they think. That looks like the Sunbreak monster that they showed near the end there. Yeah, Sunbreak. Okay, so they're trying to just completely sell us on this game right before it comes out in two days. I would call it a new game, considering how big the expansions are for Monster Hunter. And at least they are letting the monsters do the talking, it seems, so... No jokes, no characters, no wasted effort. Just letting the monsters do the talking. And these wandering flames. I've never played a Monster Hunter game, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. I know what Rathalos is. Hi, Rathalos. The story ends. Another begins. Wandering flames. I see you found your home. New monster that they haven't shown off yet. And now music. Sarah Elaine. Not familiar. I will not be partaking in this game because there's too many other games to play at the moment. Is that Palamut just flying there? This is for my A boom! Animated cutscenes. It's so crazy that this game runs so well on the Switch, from what I've heard. I don't think is this game is still Switch exclusive, isn't it? Free title update one. Things are raining from the sky. Ooh, big boy. Probably a returning monster that I have no idea what it is. Seething basil geese. <laughs> Ah, so they're making like a like a season pass of free updates. Well, I'm glad that it's sold enough that they feel the need to uh, continue supporting it for quite some time. And there's a demo available. Play it today. Fantastic. Blaze through Rise. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's All right, decent Nintendo start. Mini decent Parker start. Showcase. It's a good enough game In for this that. Presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing Nintendo Switch games partners. launching this year okay, specifically. Let's get into the headlines. This year specifically. The battle to reclaim Earth. Begins. No way. No way. Near Automata! Oh shit! AD, okay, okay, let's go! 
causing the collapse of civilization. Yeah, I have this on PlayStation 4, and I've played through one route of it, but man, the end of Yora edition. The squad called Yorha. The humans are prepared to stand against these machine life form invaders. Wow. I'm glad. I'm so glad this is on Switch. This is a great game. You should absolutely play this game. And a scanner android if you like action games and story games, definitely for you. Though it is a little difficult because it is a platinum game, so... Machine life forms in I think I only beat it because I was on easy, but I still had to use a ton of life items. What will come of this bloodless battle? Mm. You just die already! This version of the award-winning Nier Automata comes with previously released content, including additional modes and costumes. Additional modes and costumes. costumes oh, that's a nice costume. Which version will also be available at launch. Oh, really? Exclusive costumes. Reclaim Earth in Nier Automata, the end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo October. system. Dude, October. Dude, from what I've heard, October is now stacked. It went from shop. there's nothing there to absolutely stacked in the matter of about five seconds. Cards going into a hat, a maze of deceptions. A murder mystery? You have piqued my interest. No, I still don't know what this is. Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story. Oh wow, in this, this art direction is definitely interesting. Games. Ooh. This is weird. It gives me Uchikoshi vibes in a Solve little bit the of a way. Of Lorelei and the Laser Annapurna, Eyes, okay. Launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. Well, you just said that they were focusing on stuff that was coming this year. Familiar faces are making a splash oh, in boy. these games. What is this? Oh, Bomberman. Yo, what's up? A new Bomberman game is coming. A new to one. Nice. Time, a Woo. New mode called Castle Mode. Konami exists, the and they're still making games somehow. I didn't hear very good things about Super Bomberman R1, so hopefully this one actually is decent. I will not hold my breath for it though. And share your own battle stages. That's cool. When Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Huh. 10 Mega Man Battle Network games Whoa! on the Game Boy Advance system are coming to Nintendo. Whoa! Mega Man, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Mega Collection? 10? They said 10, right? 10 games? Over 1, in one collection? And a music mode oh my. Over 150 songs from across the series. Hey, I might have to, I might have to, Legacy collection I might have to cop on that one. Switch next year. The full collection Next will also year. be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2 each sold separately. Oh, okay. So they're splitting it up into two. That makes sense. A remake of Pac-Man World is coming What? <laughs> they're remaking the, the first Pac-Man World? Are you kidding me? What is this already? Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with pack dots The rev roll, the butt -tails. Oh my. A giant Pac-Man? This is this is crazy. To galactic escapades, you'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac Fan in Pac Man World. I actually don't know whether this one's good or not. So. Two unlikely friends. Ooh, I'm already intrigued by the art style on this one. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. Blanc. In this oh, wow. emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths. You know, this feels like an indie game, but there's... And navigate through the it looks wilds. so good. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play. Oh, so shit, online co-op too. It. That looks so fun. I would totally play that with someone. Forge an unexpected oh, that's a great logo, too. Oh, that's so good. Who does that? As a console exclusive on Casus Ludi SAS. Never heard of them. I, I saw Gearbox publishing down there. 
a swashbuckling adventure returns. And the first thing I think of is the Sea of Thieves. What? No, not Monkey Island. My blood. They're fucking breeding Monkey Island back? I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I can't fucking. What is this? What is this partner direct? Treasure. This is crazy. And root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name. Oh, I hear that song back there. And this is a story about. I know very little about this game. The secret of Monkey Island. I just know it's a classic. I've never played it. I don't know really anything about the story. But it's beloved by like SNES era God, fans. I don't even remember exactly what console it released on. Oh man. That song though. The art style is pretty decent as well. I wonder what uh, actual fans of the game think about it. Wow. This is definitely a way to do this style of game for modern consoles. That's pretty cool, though. I wonder if this is multi-platform. Ooh. The Return to Monkey Island 2022. Lucasfilm, wow. Wishlist Monkey now. Around. In return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this year. Switch Switch timed exclusive. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please ah, so this is Mario Rabbids, right? Mario and the Rabbids. Yep. Blast off for a galactic adventure in the Okay, Lake. Mario Rabbids. This was leaked yesterday that it was coming October 20th, along with a few screenshots, including the fact that Bowser is playable, which is really cool. Their goal? Take the energy possessed by sparks. These mysterious Oh creatures. god, not the rabid Lumas. Now our heroes must set out to save them. Can I just say the A visual art style for these Mario and Rabbids games are so good? Oh not will initiate a turn based <laughs> battle when you encounter an enemy. Oh, okay. So they've made it so that the enemies are like sort of in an open world and you start a battle that way instead of instead of it being okay I actually like that a lot more than sort of the the linear style yeah still XCOM based like we thought and have her dash into another next Rabbit Luigi. One more dash, and now disruptor time. What does that mean? By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, oh well, yeah, because their health was reduced. Back to There's still Mario. two others. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew. Oh, so that, that cone, that circular Last area, isn't least, the playing field. It's. It shows you how far you can move. I actually like Get that position, a lot. Then finish off with the kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. And now the enemy attacks. Sure I wonder what these uh, what these enemies are based safe. on this time. I never finished the first Mario Rabbids game. All right, we've got the floor But again. I knew that Bowser was Dash toward the bomb. One of the and major antagonists by the end of it. Oh, that's cool. That'll do it. The key to victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the Yeah, they've got that OC rabbit this time that was goth that we know very little about. Bowser? And he's Damn, look at that gun. Mario plus rabbits, sparks of hope. October 20th. Dude, October is going to be stacked. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I just really like the environments of this game. I don't really... I'm not too big of a fan of the XCOM style. More ec more info tomorrow. So they're doing their own showcase for it on Ubisoft's channels. That doesn't surprise me too much. They like to show this game off at their own E3 conference and they didn't do it before. 
Sizzle reel? During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. What is this? The layout Little of Noah, Scion of Paradise. Every time you enter them. Who does this art style? Because it looks very bravely default almost. Every corner. String together combos, Not bravely default in the sense of the uh, the character art bows. that they put in the art book, Noah, but more like launches a Nintendo Switch the chibi stuff. And that's a shadow drop. Hell yeah! Rail grade. <laughs> I have no idea. I like the aesthetic. I would never play this game. But I like the aesthetic. Your strategies will change based on various factors, like the number and length of trains to run, which resources to I would apply, love to just and how to stare at a to point B. other Rail people's creations in Nintendo's this game, this I think. But also it looks very framey. Join aspiring game creator Kenta. Oh, this is a this is a game coming to Switch, huh? Creation, the Legend of Right. You know, I saw this game in one of the indie presentations. I don't know which one because there's so many of them, but it looks very cool. Because it reminds me a lot of like RPG books that we would make and then share with each other at lunchtime in elementary school. I never really made any. I just played them, but definitely nostalgic. Ah, uh, so here's Sonic Origins. Or not Sonic, Sonic Origins, Sonic Frontiers, Christ. Origins already Star came out. Home to a mysterious civilization. Let's see if Nintendo can show off this game better than IGN does. Through a vast open zone, taking full Ooh, that's cool. Of Sonic's speedy skills. Oh boy. Is it just me or does it look a little framey? Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. Kaboom. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. There's a parry system? Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. So basically the combat's gonna be limited until you, you can also acquire more abilities for him. Called cyberspace. Cyberspace. Take oh, that's cool looking. Supersonic speeds. I don't like the Green Hill Zone one. Keys to progress. The other one looked pretty decent. Oh boy. Uh, probably a game would that would be better purchased on a powerful console like uh, PS4. Still no date. It just says holiday. Oh my god, they made like Disney Sims. Dreamlight Valley was once an idyllic land. What in the Pixar world is this? Why didn't this come out ages ago? This now, seems pretty cool. Up to you to help these iconic residents Scrooge McDuck and reveal the secrets that led you here. Why Mickey Mouse looking like the fucking the girl in all of those mobile game ads? Explore this where she's like <laughs> It's just like incredibly messed up. She's fucking her boyfriend leaves her, and she has to renovate the house, and the roof is caving in, and they intentionally make bad choices just to show how terrible it is. In this world, you can be whoever you dream yourself to be. Buzz is so small. Early access available September 6th. It's another game loft game, so I'm not crossing my fingers, but that seems decent for kids and people who are Disney fanatics. Yeah, there's Live Alive. Buy this game, buy this game, buy this game, buy this game, buy this game. This game is not to be missed. Though, I don't blame you if you wait until it goes on sale. But it is a relatively short game, so you would be able... Oh, hell yeah, they're playing Megalomania right now. It's the name of the boss song, by the way. Yes, demo! Beginning of three chapters and save data transfer. Whoa, Doraemon. Decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming. This is this feels like Harvest Moon. Gonna be honest. I wonder how many people in the West actually know what Doraemon is. One of the biggest mascot characters ever in Japan. And fishing. 
And with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. Doraemon, story oh, wow. of seasons, friends of the great kingdom. It doesn't look bad. The Nintendo Switch system Looks like year. they put some effort into it, whoever's developing it. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft. Oh really? Legends. They put Mine Oh okay. I actually don't know whether this was announced for Switch already. By I remember it being announced. I think this was announced at Summer Game Fest actually. Fight against this monstrous force threatening the world. Summer One Game Fest or the Xbox universe. showcase, whichever one it was. Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year. Oh, Dragon Quest! I know the people at Good Vibes Gaming are going to be happy about this one. Dragon Quest Treasures. I'm not entirely familiar with the state of this game before this direct, so I don't know whether it was like released in Japan and hasn't come here, or whether this is new or what, but that's pretty cool. Also, it's very interesting that you control Eric as the main character in this. That seems fun. Definitely not a game that I will play, but... Seems cool for the people who like Dragon Quest. Mm. When Dragon Quest Treasures launches December. On Switch, December. So there's our first December game for the Switch. And here's the sizzle reel. Uh oh. There's only one minute left. Is this gonna be it, or are we actually gonna see Bayonetta stuff at the end? Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Available now. No Man's Sky. Available in October. For some reason, I thought this game already came out on Switch. Apparently not. <laughs> There's the cloud version game! Plague Tale Requiem. <laughs> well, at least it's Plague Tale, and not a... Not a different game, I guess. Captain Velvet Meteor. Never heard of this whatsoever. Hugging a dog? Oh? Portal 2? We're going to have so much fun together. Yeah, the Portal collection that they teased previously. Is it was an and interesting the transition there. There might even be cake. The Portal Companion Collection will be available later today. Whoa! Oh, Shadow Drop! I to call it the Why Do You Keep Killing Me Collection. <laughs> but oh well. Thanks, GLaDOS. Let's get started. You monster. That's good. That's good. Good little shadow drop there. Farm, fight, and forge friendship. I don't know what this is. Fantasy world. Welcome to Leafy. A piece of Harvest Stella. This feels like Final Fantasy. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. The art style is interesting. I've never heard of this whatsoever, so if this is something that I just am blind to, then please tell me. But this genre in particular has been blowing up as of late. I feel like there's been a lot more games that are like RPG, but also farm sim management. The Season of Death? Crops wither. Oh. Life is threatened. Damn. <laughs> Find a way to stop the season of death from Oh, I like the character portrait home. artwork there. Hmm. I would honestly buy an art book of, of whoever's doing the art you. for that character portrait stuff right there. That looks really good. It is Squeenix, okay, so that's why it reminds me of Final Fantasy. November 4th. This next segment will be our last Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Oh, Persona. Nothing on Bayonetta? 
Oh my goodness. You know, I would be screaming at the at this moment. And today, I'm bringing along an ultra top secret video. Ultra top secret video, huh? October 21st. Persona 5 Royal is coming to Switch. This would have gotten, I feel like this would have gotten a lot more crazy reaction to it if they didn't announce it on, like, Xbox beforehand. October 20th. Another October game, too. Are you kidding me? No, don't bring Teddy into the Nintendo Direct. What are you doing? Do you want people to click off? Well, I guess they are showing off the best Persona game, so... You can be forgiven. Better leave it. Yep, Persona and then they're Portable gonna do... Persona 3 Portable. Persona 3 Portable. Yeah, they announced all this stuff for Xbox. People were like, they've gotta bring this over to the Switch now that it's coming to Xbox, right? And there it is! The other two, of course, coming soon. Royals coming to the Switch on October 21st, and it's not a cloud version. They actually got it to run. Woo! Fantastic! So, uh, where's Bayonetta? <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a pretty goddamn good partner direct. Definitely better than any other that we've gotten so far. Uh, so yeah. Wow. Um, my compliments to the chef, Nintendo, for feeding us today. And uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you like that reaction, tune in. I'm playing I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative and Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes at the moment. And down the line, I'm going to be playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which is going to take up the next six months after that comes out. So thank you guys once again for watching. I've been Wing Supernova, and have a good day.